And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Riven. Going to be our first donation deck today. This is a pretty interesting list that we have submitted from a viewer that's going to be really focused on challengers and also going wide and um, you know being very aggressive, having a low curve. So kind of looking at a curve, you can see that the two mana spot is going to be the key to our deck. We're going to have lots and lots of two drops. Um, but we're going to be focusing on support. So our two champions, of course, Lulu Riven. Lulu, we want to um, support allies three plus times. To level up Lulu. And also what Lulu is doing is going to be able to um, grow a support ally to be a 4-4. Now that's going to work great with challengers. And also kind of looking at, at our other supports in these regions. We're going to have Young Witch be a support. Also great with challengers giving the plus one plus zero and quick attack. Also Legion Drummer giving quick attack. Also great with challengers. So as far as challengers go we're going to have a Trifarian Glory Seeker being able to challenge and then also a card that's very overlooked a card that i wouldn't have even thought of to put in into a deck like this but i'm very excited to play um affectionate poro just being a one mana challenger basically this is going to be like our fleet feather tracker right like you know how good fleet feather tracker is this is going to be our version of fleet feather tracker where yes it starts at only a one one instead of a two one but you're going to be able to support it you know make it a two one quick attack with your young witch give it quick attack with your legion drummer or most importantly turn it instead of being a 1-1 turn it into a 4-4 with lulu like so i'm, I'm real excited about affection and poro with lulu together also our other champion riven is going to be um creating these blade fragments that we're going to have and we can use you know a card like that affection of poro we could maybe give it something like this and give it plus two plus zero with this blade fragment now suddenly it's a three one also we're, we're going to be going white we're going to have like the rune weaver going to be reforging also for our Riven and we're going wide with like House Spider and all these cheaper units. So then we're going to be playing Arena Battlecaster as well. And that can give your attacking allies plus one plus zero. And that additional one power can be useful with the cards like Affectionate Poro also. So that's another neat little thing that we have going on there. All right, so since that's still not like a ton of challengers, so we're going to have a couple of Sonic Waves in here that we'll be able to um, give challenger to a couple of different allies um, so we can like may maybe have like our Lulu have challenger so that it will challenge like a 1-1 one -one on their side so they don't get to block with their 3-3 three -three on our Lulu for example. Um, we can do that. Of course the Sonic Wave also creates the Resonating Strike that could be very good with other challengers as well. So um, pretty cool little deck here. Besides that our last support Kato the plus three plus three and overwhelm that's always good and then we have a little bit of protection which with a two deny two nopify and one removal spell for some landmarks or anything else that's damaged if we just hit them with like a little one one challenger then we got our one scorched earth so we're not really using spells too much in this deck to be able to remove units from our opponent's side we um, we basically only have like the protection spells with deny and nopify so we're going to be focused on using challengers to remove their units and basically get us ahead. We'll be playing a bunch of cheap stuff, use challengers to throw them off balance, and hopefully pick up a win like that going wide. So that's our game plan. We'll see if it works. Uh, we'll go play our five games in ranked. Okay, so starting with Zoe and Lee Sin. Unfortunately, they have the attack token turn one. I would rather us have the attack token turn one. What are we going to be nopifying in this matchup? I think all their stuff is like burst speed. Scorched Earth could be okay of like killing a Lee Sin like later on in the game. I don't really want to focus on that. Um, Rune Weaver actually matches up well against their two drops. They have the two mana one three and then and the two mana goat. So it matches up kind of well there. So I'll keep that. Matches up better than House Spider, I think. Your 
fate was written. All right, so we can play. Um, we'll lead with House Spider. Then I guess now I have options with um, Legion Drummer or Battlecaster. Okay, let's go, Battlecaster. Uh, Alright, the dragon is why I led off with the 3 1. So, like, what, what am I looking to deny here? Like, I guess, like, Zenith Blade? Maybe? I guess that would have been a good thing to notify. Wow, I'm fine with that. That's them not killing my Lulu, that's good. So the reason why they're they're casting that because that's the second spell, so they get a draggling. On defense. Pleasure to see you, Master. Okay. So we're going to have... How am I going with this? I hope they can't cast two spells. Yeah, like they, they just played the Lee Sin champion spell last turn. I mean, like obviously they could have like another one because they could have a Lee Sin, but they just played that the last turn. Your attack is obvious. Okay, so that's good. They're not able to protect the Lee Sin. I know I could... So I could do two damage to them, or I, I could just accept this. Um, I think I'm just going to accept it. that to save the spell mana oh man riven i guess riven doesn't create doesn't reforge right now so it's probably just better to go uh right to attack so let's have kato support a kato who supports a lulu who supports the young witch who supports that thing and um let's give you vulnerable and throw you in front of you. And go like that. 
That seems just fine, I guess. Um. Actually, I'll give I'll give this quick attack because they're, they're definitely blocking this. Like they would want to block that Kato, I would think. So I'll just give that quick quick attack. So they don't heal their Nexus. That's their best card to block. Dude, our deck's pretty sweet. Worked out here this game. Getting double Kato out here and being able to attack with Lulu last turn and they didn't kill my Lulu. That's always good. They could have if they would have blocked my Lulu with a 3-2 and then Pale Cascaded it. Instead of Pale Cascading the Lee Sin. And that's a win. GG's. Lulu Riven picking up our first win of the day. Awesome. Alright, Twisted Swain. They're going to be trying to kill all my little things. Both Young Witch and Glory Seek. Like, this is very weak to Twisted Fate Red Card, right? Like, Twisted Fate Red Card this is going to blow me up. Let's mulligan this. I can see mulliganing this thing, too. Yeah, I'll just do that, actually. Let's mulligan those two. I am... I... Wanted to keep the Young Witch. Um. To be able to support the Flower Child on turn two. Off we go. Hold out. Come on, Rib. Pretty effective. Get your work, burn if you don't. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Ooh, look what I did! Please turn me back. A real battle. It's a lot of damage we're taking. Wow. Surprised they didn't attack with the three-one either. <laughs> All right, what should we challenge? Um, the three-one or a two-two? Let's go with... I don't know. A 2-2, I guess? Go picks, go picks, go picks. Of course, we have to go straight to attacks. I don't want to like play something and then they go Twisted Fate Red card and then my, uh, Whoa, hey. uh, then I'm real sad. This also does make Twisted Fate Red card a little like challenging the. If I challenge the three one, it still makes their red card kind of good of killing those two things immediately. Challenging the two two makes that a little worse. I may just play the flower child. No, maybe it's the other glory seeker. Yeah, I guess it is. Need just a moment. Wow, that is great for me. I am very happy about that. Because that's why I was, I was very scared of another twisted fate. And they just they just threw away a twisted fate. I'm very happy about that. If I barrier this, they just block the other two things. Can we 
pick him up. Get him, pick. I realized that kind of after after I attacked that I should have had I should have had the spray fin and the twisted fate in the opposite spots and had the, the five health challenge the twisted fate. Plus two plus zero. So yeah, I, I should have I I messed up with the challenge there with the spray fin and the twist of fate. I need more well this looks like a pretty good deck against us though. With all these house you know, house spiders and petty officers and then card draw and then cheap removal with like ravenous flocks. And then obviously twist of fate red card. This looks like a really, really bad matchup for us, but I'm I'm impressed with how well we've done even in this very bad matchup. Silly thing. Oh, I like that. That's a good draw. That deny. Violence to end violence. Go time. Face me. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. So yes, I could go the quick attack, try to save the Glory Seeker, but I'm not too confident that Glory Seeker staying alive very often, for very long anyway. Oh, really? It was a Make It Rain that I got a waste to deny on? Ugh. You know, like, basically if they just don't hit the Glory Seeker, then I don't have to waste the deny and I can use the deny on the next thing. That's pretty unlucky. I gotta waste my deny on this thing. I don't like they made a this is a little bit of a bad block here, right? Like the the one one should block the three four, the two one should block this Kato. It's like they could have like this Kato could be a five two if they would have blocked that a little better. We'll see if that really matters. But, you know, they they are up on cards. Do have the, this ribbon in play. If they they can't kill the Riven, I'm happy, but it looks like they're going to kill the Riven. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, see, like, that would have been nice to have the deny for that. Still do. 
Man, what a win. That looked like a matchup that was really bad for us with all of like, that cheap removal, their ability to go wide, their card advantage, having Twisted Fates. That's a terrible matchup. What a win. From the opponent's side, I think if they... I think playing that pick a card cost my opponent that game. If they just don't play the pick a card and just keep the second Twisted Fate in hand, once I kill the first Twisted Fate, play another Twisted Fate red card or gold card, you know, whichever one, um, it's going to be really difficult for me to win that. Oh no! I don't want to play this matchup again. I don't want to play this matchup again. We had a very good hand and got quite fortunate to win it the first time. And yeah, it's just same same opponent. If I play a champion, I don't get to have Nopify to protect said champion. To serve the great Alright, cool. They wasted a mana. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? Heart and blade, both broken. Because skills don't have a mana cost, right? So, like, if it says, like, deny, it's, you know, stop a stop a spell or a skill. But Nobify, you can't really say stop a skill that costs three or less because skills don't have mana costs. So, it had to, so Nobify would just be able to stop any skill whatsoever. But I think they wanted this to be only uh, work on certain mana costs. Togrek, tier one sub for seventh month. Thank you, Togrek. I was expecting Ravenous Block there. I didn't decide what I wanted to do with like the over this overwhelm quick attack and stuff. Cause I didn't really want to spend three mana on Sonic Wave Resonating Strike. Just went to the next turn. Um, even though... Because, yeah, like, we're playing against a Make It Rain deck. <laughs> I need more yeah, this matchup is difficult for us. They have all the good stuff. Okay. So now... I can support you. Y'all can attack. You go here. You go here. We'll give you quick attack. We'll let Lulu challenge this thing so I don't have to worry about Lulu dying. I shouldn't have gave that thing quick attack, probably. I, I should just give the Riven quick attack. I guess I'll give... Alright, I guess I'll do... Plus two here. Overwhelm here. Give you challenger. Challenge there. Why would the 2 2 block? Like, why, why are you blocking with the 3 2 instead of a 2 2? My opponents made some questionable blocks. Alright, so that kills that. Does damage there. Yeah. 
I know I could nopify that, but they, they have a lot of good nopify targets. I don't like that. Really just needed some patriot symbol. Because this is getting the minus six, minus zero after the turn, so I, I'm playing the Blade of the Exile on it to give it the plus six that is no for the Swain. Is this the strongest enemy? Oh, wait, so it's not going to be leveled up quite yet. I write the rule. Stun's the strongest, so it's gonna stun this thing. Stun my 6 4. I think. Yeah. There's no reason for me to attack with this Rune Weaver. Yeah, I shouldn't even attack with that. I should. I yeah. So I didn't need to give that the quick attack. This is a difficult deck to play, like with the timing and everything, with all of, all of these options. Um, this is not an easy deck to play. Made another. I couldn't. I couldn't remember if I could. If I would make another blade of the exile. If I would cast that. Um. I don't think I did the overwhelm. I think I just did the quick attack. But I didn't. I don't think I did another overwhelm. Does it make multiple blade of the exiles? Does it only do that the one time? I really don't know why they wouldn't attack with Leviathan also. I'm always up for a round or two. And uh, why are they not just going red card? They don't really know how their deck works. They make a lot of mistakes, but I guess that's how we won the first one. Alright, good. Just a, a different matchup, because that other matchup was a horrendous matchup for us. But um, I feel good about splitting one and one in that matchup. And, you know, it took... Took a couple of Leviathans and Swains to uh, knock us down. <laughs> yeah, we went through. Yeah, we went through Diamond in just one day. Um, we went in 34 games, Togric. 34 ranked games. We won 33 of them. We went 33 and one <laughs> over the last couple of days. So it just went from like halfway through Platinum all the way to Masters, just like that. Okay, the second ribbon isn't probably doing too much. I'll burn for all time. Let's get to it. To serve the greater good. Last game and this game, we haven't really had one drops. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're going to do that. Now they're going to play... I assume they're going to have the uh, two-mana spell to challenge that thing. Love 
I wish I had five mana so I could play a champion and especially a Lulu and then like one of these. We march as one, an unstoppable force. I'm just going to double spell with the, the two drops, especially Victory with the, the challenger. I'm going to try to take down Misfortune. They've had the perfect one, two, three so far. You know, one drop and then blinding us all Misfortune. How to get more perfect for them is if they have like Grand Plaza now on the turn they're not attacking and then, you know, the four mana scouts after Grand Plaza. Alright, so their life is pretty good. Yep, that's just the absolute best possible uh, hand from one of the best decks. So. This is our way. Great one drop to get two. Get the warden spray. Quite nice. Bless is motion. I'm not going to be able to level up Riven if I play Riven. We'll get the second Blade Fragment. It'll be just that, just the second Blade Fragment. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Here I am. It's a good Sonic Wave. All right, so they're down to five. And, oh man, why can't we have two whimsies? Two whimsies would be better than one. Always forward. It could be Sharp Sight or Repost. Yeah, Sharp, sharp Sight was what I was kind of thinking it was going to be. I think it's a 3 3 now. Man, what a card. Man, what a. <laughs> They've had. The, yeah, they just had a great hand. You know, that Allied Navigator getting the Warden's Prey that hit the Pesky Spectre. I obviously have to play this. Yeah, then that's just game. What a what a hand. No. We must start over. Discard burn, man, it's just all aggro today. I guess well, I mean I guess Twisted Fate Swain's not aggro. Alright, we're gonna mulligan the Kato and I'm going to keep the House Spiders, and I think I'm just going to keep Nopify. Like, they're going to... Uh, I don't want to have a Nopify and a Deny. Because, like, they're going to have your cards, like, your... Um, you know, your Mystic Shots and your Get Excited, especially your Get Excited, and I thought that could be kind of good to Nopify. Um, yeah, I don't... I really don't want Deny, though.
because you don't want to really attack. I don't really want to attack with the one one, and then they block with the two two on the one one. No Draven would definitely be nice. All right, no Draven. That is nice. And they shouldn't have a two mana card that kills the Lulu, but I can also kind of pass before just playing a Lulu. See what else they do. Because maybe they do something else that I want to play, like a House Spider to block instead. Because, uh, you know, if they just attack here, we just have our 1-1s. One Trade. There's nothing a good jiggle can't fix. I wasn't really expecting them just to pass the turn. Um, considering they had, you know, like the elusive attacker, but I guess... by that. Time for the main event. Whimsy's only followers. I don't get to Whimsy a Draven. Even though I love to Whimsy a Draven, we don't get to do that. Axes coming right up. Yeah, I'm going to block. I could, you know, I could, I could take it. That's possible they could be building up for crowd favorite. Yeah, that's certainly a possibility. Ooh, I love flying vegetables. They're fast and great for tummy rumbles. Who's ready to wreck it? Show them the might of Noxus. Because I could, I, so I could do this on the one one, but I want the battlecaster to attack. If I if I don't do it on the one one, then the battlecaster is gonna be like a two two. I don't want that to happen. I want all of my, you know, like I don't want Draven to get any any free blocks. Absolutely, gold is good to hit. Absolutely. Yeah, ranking up in this game is not easy. What you doing? Nothing wrong with hitting gold. This definitely feels like Whirling Death, how they're just throwing Draven in front. Hopefully it's just one Whirling Death, though, because I can counter one Whirling Death. But that's it. Time for the money oh, it's the... Oh, well. I can't stop that. Yeah, survival skills, that's nice. I can't stop survival skills. Okay. We'll have a new leveled up Lulu. That was a really good turn for them. Kill kill my Lulu, keep their Draven alive, and then play Jinx and Battlecaster. Very good turn for them, and they can unload their hand very quickly with the Spinning Axe also to level up Jinx. This is leaving me with just one deny slash notify this turn. Next turn, I, I just need to draw some kind of unit next turn so I can have double support. And then hopefully our other deny or notify. 
Yeah, they do they do not seem to want to discard their hand and level up Jinx too much. What time is it? Alright, so I'll have one Nopify. Yeah, the reason why I didn't play Lulu, even though I could get the, the fleeting picks the next round, is is just mana wise. Um, which worked out, right? Like, because we drew, like, if I would have played the Lulu last turn, then we'd have double Kato in hand, and that would be a little bit more awkward. I mean, well, they're, you said, are they new to the game? I don't know. We're, we're playing in Master's rank, so I, I doubt it. They've gone all the way to Master's. They're probably not new to the game. I'm playing Lulu so I can support, I can have one Kato support the other Kato, the other Kato support the Lulu. So I can have two big Overwhelm threats. As far as winning this game is concerned. I mean, that is fair. This is... Maybe the easiest deck in the game to hit Masters with, that's fair. Alright, let me just make sure this is lethal. So, like, attacking... So we have 8 and... Um, 6, so we have 14 Overwhelm damage. They can all, Yeah, like, this is just very lethal. Yeah, I could nopify the rocket or nopify this. The, the rocket's slow speed. They're not going to be able to play the, the rocket before they're dead. And I honestly don't have to nopify either. It's still lethal whether I cast nopify or not. Like, I, I just don't even have to play nopify. Like, they should just be dead here. Wait, does this not... Does this not overwhelm damage over? Okay, yes, it does. Yeah, never mind. It does, yeah. Don't make me All right, so we ended up going three and two in Masters here with the Lulu Riven. Good showing, and we had the, um, you know, both of our losses, we had the Twisted Fate Swain, which is not a deck you see very much, a deck that I, I don't think matches up well against uh, Targon Invoke, but that deck is great against small unit aggro like this. So that's a really bad matchup for us, and we actually, we faced that twice, and we ended up going one and one against it, so very happy with that for, like, a deck that's... Um, Real bad matchup. And then we ran into Scouts, where it was a very close game against Scouts. Um, they killed us bef the turn before we were going to kill them. But they had <clears throat> they had a perfect hand of, you know, like one drop and then uh, Misfortune plus Blinding Assault on turn three with the attack token. And then play, you know, Grand Plaza on my turn four. And um, Island Navigator on turn five with, you know, with the, the double Scout, with one of them being a Warden's Prey that... They got the pesky specter that was awesome with the Grand Plaza, and then having Grizzled Ranger. You know, like they just had a perfect hand. Then Repose plus Sharp Sight uh, for the interaction. Like their hand was a, a perfect scout hand, and we om we still almost won that one. So very impressed. So basically, very impressed with how our deck did. You know, like a for a Lulu Riven deck. I think this was really well put together. Um, I think that the uh, the affectionate Poro was a really smart add to this kind of deck that I, I would not have thought about playing this this card myself and I think it worked out really well. We saw like one of our win, like our win against the Twisted Fate Swain deck, we got to take out multiple, they had one mana two twos, we got to take out multiple of them with having Affectionate Poro paired with Young Witch you know, making it a, a two, two one quick attack challenger um, you know, got to eat up some stuff with that, so that was very good and then Affectionate Poro also later with Lulu making it a 4-4 challenger. That was very good. Um, you know, like the Sonic Waves were good in here. The Nobify and the Deny didn't do a ton for us. But I think that was also kind of matchups and, and everything. We played against a good amount of aggro. Um, House Spider was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Because we were playing against the other aggro decks that are going wide, the House Spider Arena Battlecaster part of the deck actually worked out better than I thought. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how this part of the deck would work out. 
but it, it did it it, it uh, did well in it and going wide and everything works out really well for a Lulu deck and a Riven deck so I liked it that was um, you know these are two underpowered champions you know maybe two of the the weakest champions in the game honestly I mean the champions are really good throughout the whole game and Lulu and Riven are maybe two of the the weakest ones and the you know being able to go three two in Masters rank with Lulu and Riven together that's very impressive so liked the deck. Um, so yeah, this one was from Slayer from Air. Thank you. Thank you, Slayer. This is a good one. GG. GG's. All right, but there we go. That's Lulu Riven. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments, please. And uh, let me know what you think of the deck. If you, you know, try it out yourself, uh, you know, let me know how it goes for you. Or if you just enjoy it, um, yeah, let me know. I love seeing those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Lulu Riven. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.